Have you ever wanted to download some mods and get into modded Minecraft but were too afraid to take on the challenge of installing mods and downloading new software? Well guys today I'm doing a tutorial on how to download and install Forge and mods and this is for Minecraft 1.15.2 but you can use this for pretty much every version of Minecraft. As you can see here in the screen I've got a couple of mods going, on the right hand side I've got a lava monster, right behind me I have immersive portals where you can see right into the nether, jump through without any loading and then jump back in again, something really awesome and then you can see at the top right hand side of the screen I've got a little mini map, on my back I've also got a backpack so straight away I've got some mods here, in fact I've actually got 37 different mods here in this mod pack. And it's not difficult and I'm going to show you how to download and install Forge and mods right now so follow me guys. The first thing you need to do is go to minecraftforge.net or just type Forge into Google it should be the first option that comes up and click on Forge, Minecraft Forge, here it says files.minecraftforge.net and depending on which version of Minecraft you want to use you can see here there's all of the way back to 1.1 and up to the latest of 1.15. The plus here, if you press the plus, it'll give you all the versions of Minecraft within that. I'm doing this from 1.15.2, so I'm gonna click on the 1.15.2 here. Once I've clicked on that then, I need to download the installer here. This at the moment is the latest version of 31.0.11. So I'm gonna click on the installer, and this is gonna bring me to an AdWords page. Do not click on anything else on the screen except for wait up here in the top right hand side until the countdown drops down to zero and this turns to skip and once skip appears press skip and on the bottom left hand side of the screen you're going to get your download. This is a jar file so it's going to come up with this warning that says this type of file can harm your computer. Do you want to keep Forge 1.15.2? Yes, you can press keep on this. It is not a harmful file, it is just that it's a .jar file, so your PC recognizes this as a potentially harmful file. But this is from a reptile website, so you can press keep, and once you press keep, it's gonna download, and then you can click on the arrow and show in folder. And I now have my downloads here, so I'm going to bring this onto my desktop here like this, and just double click on it. And you're going to get this little box that comes up and says install client, install server or extract. You want to select client and then press OK. And once it's fully installed you're going to get this message that says successfully installed client profile forge for version 1.15.2. Press OK on this. Now you need to open up your Minecraft and then you need to go to installations up here. So I'm going to create a new installation by pressing the plus option here. I'm going to call this Forge 1.15.2 New. I'm going to change the icon here and I'm going to change it to something different. The latest version, now we need to select our Forge version here. So we need to go down here and this is the version here 31.0.11. So I'm going to click on this. Next I need to check my resolution. I'm going to choose the resolution that my screen is. And then I'm going to go to More Options. And down here, I would recommend changing this to half of the amount of RAM. So if you've got 4 gigabytes of RAM, you can leave it at 2. If you've got 8 gigabytes of RAM, I would change this to 4. Or if you've got more than 8 gigabytes of RAM, like 16 gigabytes of RAM, change this to 8. And once you've done that, press Create. And now, on the bottom here, we now have our version of Forge, which is 1.15.2. So I'm going to press Play on this. And now we are in Minecraft using Forge. So you can see on the bottom left here it says Forge 31.0.11 and it says two mods loaded. To check what the two mods are, click on the mods folder here and it's recognizing Minecraft as a mod and also Forge. But we've no other mods installed, we're going to do that in a second. We're going to create a new world. I know we've just loaded Forge, but this is still vanilla. We haven't installed any mods yet. If I press F3 here, you can see I've got Minecraft 1.15.2 Forge. So next we need to download a mod and install it. So this is gonna be the next trick here, guys. We're gonna quit out of Minecraft again. Again, we're gonna to go to Google, and this time we're gonna type in CurseForge. There are numerous websites that you can download mods, but one of my favorite is CurseForge. So we're going to go to curseforge.com. Next, you need to go to Minecraft, and then we want to go to mods here and then we want to check our versions. So I'm going to go to versions 
and that's going to give me all of the mods from 1.15.2. So I'm going to download a mod here really quickly and I'm going to look for a mod that's visually uh, okay. So I'm going to look for something like Zero's minimap. And here we have Zero's minimap. This will pop up on the screen. You'll be able to see that the mod is installed. So I'm going to click on Zero's minimap and that's going to bring me into the description page. Now over here, you're going to see on the right hand side, recent files. So we're looking here from Minecraft 1.15. I can see here we've got 1.15.2 which I'm going to press download on now. This is going to take five seconds to download. Once it's downloaded, it's going to show up on the bottom left hand side of the screen again. Again, we're going to press keep. And again, I'm going to put this onto my desktop. Now, the next thing you need to do is find out where your Minecraft folder is and where your mods folder is. This can sometimes be a little bit tricky and it depends if you've got your hidden files enabled or not. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up any folder. We're then going to go to view on the folder options and then we're going to make sure hidden items is ticked. If it's ticked off, some items are going to disappear. If it's ticked on, all of your folders, including your hidden folders, will be available. The next thing you need to do then, there's a couple of ways you can do this, okay? On the quick access bar here, you can type in percentage, app data, percentage, and press enter. And that's going to bring you into your roaming folder. Next, you want to go to .minecraft, double click on that and then you want to go to your mods folder in your minecraft folder if you don't have a mods folder in here right click create new folder and mods then double click on your mods folder minimize it and then drag your mod into your mods folder that's all you need to do to install a mod you don't need to double click on the file just drag it from your desktop into your mods folder again i'm going to show you a different way now how to find that mods folder if you go to your hard drive, your PC, go to your C drive, go to your users, go to your user, in this case it's ISIL TPW, go to your app data. Now you can see it's slightly grayed out here. If I don't have hidden items here showing, you won't see your app data file, so you won't be able to see your roaming folder. So again, make sure hidden items is ticked. Go to your app data, go to your roaming, go to dot Minecraft, and go to mods. And there we are right in here. Now we've got the mod installed. All we need to do is launch up Minecraft again. And once it's loaded up, you can now see that it's got three mods installed. If I click on mods here again, you've got Minecraft, Forge, and Zero's minimap. So I'm gonna go back into single player world. This was Test Forge. and the world loads up that we were just in, the map we just created, and you can see now on the top right hand side of the screen, I now have Zero's minimap, which is very handy when you're playing Minecraft. So that's how easy it is to install Forge and mods, guys. If you have any questions on how to download and install mods, please make sure to leave a comment down below this video. I would gladly try to help you out. And if you found this video useful, it would be great if you left a like on this video. And if you enjoy my videos and my content, it would be great, guys, if you hit the subscribe button. It would be awesome. We're heading towards 10,000 subscribers, and I just want to say a huge thank you to you guys, and thank you for all of your support. I love making Minecraft videos for you guys and trying to help you out with mods and Minecraft. So, guys, that's it for me. I'm TBW. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.